So for today's video, I just wanted to give a little insight to a critical part of doing sheet metal on a car like this, the cowl area. I uh, am at the point now where I have my lower cowl welded in, and I'm basically just gonna show you what I do to that lower cowl and the bottom of the upper cowl to treat it and um, prep it for putting it together so that it's sealed as best as it can be uh, for the future of the car. So what I'm going to be using, and you'll see here in the videos, is I'm gonna uh, take some Scotch-Brite. I'm going to scuff up this lower cowl um, and the bottom of the upper cowl, which has already been cleaned and blasted. Um, so I'm gonna scuff this up, I'll wipe it off, and then I'll mask off my areas that I'm gonna weld because I don't want any of this paint on that. Um, and usually what I choose to use anymore is this rust encapsulator from Eastwood. I'll put a couple coats on that lower cowl. I'll spray it one good coat, and then I'm going to use a uh, brushable seam sealer, which is also from Eastwood. Um, and you can get it from a bunch of different other places, but uh, I order a bunch of stuff from Eastwood, so it just makes sense to get it at that time. Small brush, and you'll see me in the video just brushing seam sealer around this top hat here where that lip is. Um, just for the simple reason, your rain or anytime you wash the car, it's going to come through that upper cow, run down the sides. That's the way it's designed. It's designed to just come out this corner here. Uh, so, water's going to come down, and if you don't seam seal this, that water's going to go in between these and it's going to rust it out, which is the main problem why your cow was rusted out in the first place. Even though they had some sealer in between them from the factory. Uh, just over the years that stuff wears out of there and that water's just sitting in there constantly so it's best i prime it put a nice coat of seam sealer around that and then i'll go ahead and paint it again over top of that and the bottom side of this upper cowl i'll hit with a couple coats of paint as well before i actually meet the two together so um just to show you the process on this I have the gopro set up and i'll go through everything here until it's nice and coated and then I'll be back to show you the end result before I put the cow panels together. And there's my end result after I put two good coats of paint on it, seam sealer. Uh, as you can see, I seam sealed around those top hats and I also do around the, uh, the nuts that are welded into the cow panel there for the wiper assembly. Just just because it doesn't hurt while I'm there uh, to, to uh, cover those up and protect them. And two coats on the back side of this upper cow panel. 
So everything is good, protected as best as it can be, way better than what the factory was. Um, so the only, the only other thing that you can do now before you put your upper cowl on uh, is spray the, the welding area that you're gonna weld your cowl onto, spray that with a weld through primer. You could do that with every, every joint that you're using. You can use weld through primer. The main problem that I have with weld through primer is there's no good weld through primer. Even these new panels here are supposedly weld through primer. You can't weld through them. I'll turn my heat setting up pretty high to where you gotta be careful on blowing holes just straight through it. And it just pops your weld and, and does a terrible weld. Um, so that's your own choice. Uh, or there's a better way that you have of doing this. This is the way that I have done pretty much every single car that I've ever done doing these cows or anywhere where you're gonna get into uh, that you'll never get into again. So I hope that helps someone in their process if you're doing the same thing. I uh, just was looking to help out. Uh, seemed like a good part in this restoration of this shell uh, just to speak on what can be done in this situation. So more videos to come on this 68 Fastback if you haven't watched the first one there um, and also showing it after it got blasted before it got blasted and tearing it apart. Uh, I'm gonna keep cranking on this one and then we'll be back on the Boss 302 shell videos. And in the Boss 302 shell videos, I'll get more in depth into bits and pieces of the sheet metal process, just because that's my car. Uh, so I'll, I can take a little bit more time out of, out of the day to explain things as opposed to this as a customer's car. And I'm not gonna waste uh, the time. I just need to get this car done. So. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not. I appreciate it. And see you in the next video.